Welcome everyone to Pivotal Stats, where we talk about data analysis techniques, business intelligence platforms, and much, much more. So let's go. Hey everyone, welcome back. We have covered quite a lot in SQL in past couple of weeks, and I think now you might have a good understanding of how to work with SQL and especially how to work with BigQuery. Now, one last topic that I would like to cover in BigQuery and in SQL is called views. So up until now, you've seen what is a data set and how we can create a table within a data set. And we've also seen in one of the videos, once you've written a query, how to save a query so that you can use it for future reference. And just in case you don't recall what I'm talking about, let's say if I write select star from Apple stock, okay, and I'm using the same data set that we used earlier. Links will be in the description in case you want to download the data. I've written this query and for future reference, if I want to save it, I can do that by clicking on this save button here and clicking on this save query. Okay. It will ask you whether you want it for personal use or you want it to be public or, you know, whatever permission you would like to give it. And then obviously ask you for a name. So let's say temp apple. Okay. And then I'm going to save this. What it does is it saves that query in your environment so that tomorrow when you want to you know refer to that query once more click on it it will show you the query that you have written but now today we're going to cover a topic known as views now views are very important because views are nothing but a virtual table that you create within sql okay now what do i mean by virtual table whenever you look at these tables that i have here apple stock or sales or whatever it is right these tables are physically stored on my cloud platform okay which means it's taking up some kind of space and some kind of bandwidth within my cloud platform or if you're using a more traditional database systems like sql server it will occupy some kind of space in your local systems now when you talk about views it's a virtual table it's just a shell which has a query inbuilt into it. And whenever you want to call it or whenever you want to refer it, you can do that. And the query will be processed at that very moment. Let me show you an example, how you can create a view. There are two types of views. First one is a standard view, which is acceptable and applicable in almost all database systems. And second one is materialized view, which is specific to BigQuery. We'll get to materialized view in a while, but let's just first understand how standard view works. Okay. So there are two ways to create standard view. First one, I can straight away write a query. Now I have written this query. I would like to save this query as a view. So I'm going to click on this save button here and click on save view. It's going to ask me in which project I would like to save that view and the data set that I would like to save it in and also the table name. So it's asking for a table name, but remember this is a virtual table. Okay. It will not occupy any space in your system or cloud. So I'm going to write, let's say temp apple and I'm going to say save. And if you see right inside my list where I have all the tables stored, I'm seeing a new table by the name of temp apple. And if you see the icon for that is different from the icon for apple stock and sales, apple stock and sales are a physical table that exists in my cloud, which is occupying some kind of space. But this is a view which is not occupying any space. Now, if I close this out and let's say I write a select statement, select date and close from i can refer to this view that i created if you see it has fetched me the records from that view and i can use that to view in any kind of query that i want but be very cautious while using views to perform your data analysis activities because this is a virtual table. And if you compare the performance between a physical table and a virtual table, physical table will always have a better performance while running your queries. So if views have bad performance than a physical table, then why do we actually require a view? There might be a couple of reasons, but main reasons that I can highlight is first of all, 
let's say you have a table with a huge amount of data set out of that entire data set you only want a specific portion of the data to do your analysis or to create a report of some kind which will be eventually used by a user so views will help you to restrict user from having access to the entire table instead user will only have access to the views where you might have applied a where clause to limit down the data which user can interact with and the second reason that i can think of is let's say you have table a b c and d and you have to create an output by joining all those tables together and have couple of filters applied to it as well so every time you do an analysis or every time a user interacts with your final output you or the user should not be worried about applying all those joins or applying all those where clauses again and again to interact with your final output an easier way would be to first of all apply all the joins and all the processing that you want to do in your final query create it as a view so that every time you want to interact with the final output you can directly interact with the view itself and write a simple select statement on the view now you might be thinking why do you want to create a view you can just save the query right like we saw earlier in this video but the only problem is you cannot run a select statement referring to a query you can only run a select statement on a table or on a view so that's why we might require views there are other reasons as well in terms of data integrity and you know access management but that is something which is out of scope from a data analyst perspective but it's a good to know information and if you want to read more about views and what are the advantages that we have while creating a view i'll leave a link in the description feel free to check it out now coming back to our main topic you can create a standard view using sql statements as well to do that what you need to do is before your select statement write create view that's the keyword to creating a view and after you write create view you need to write the name of the view that you want to create let's say i want to create new temp apple okay and you write as but before creating a view you need to also mention which project and which data set you want to create that view inside okay so i want to create this view inside this customer data so i'm going to write customer data dot new temp apple because i want to create a new temp apple view inside the customer data okay and now if i run this it will create a standard view for me as you see the view has been created here now in case while you're working you have more than one project you would have to write the project name as well before your data set name so from this example i would have to write leethe sonar 327208 dot customer data dot new temp apple so keep that in mind while creating the view using the code now this is how you created a standard view now comes the second type of view which is specific to bigquery which is known as materialized view now what is the difference between a standard view and a materialized view in a standard view the data is not refreshed until you call the query but in a materialized view the moment a backend table which that view is referring to is refreshed the data within that materialized view is also refreshed so which means now the benefit of that extra computation which happens in the materialized view is performance wise it's much better than standard view but because it was just introduced couple of years back there are a lot of limitations while you apply a materialized view like for example it creates a problem while writing a join but if your query is a simple select statement with an where clause then i think materialized view is a better way to go because performance wise is much better now how do we create a materialized view you need to write a extra statement or extra keyword which is create materialized view and let me just change the name slight here new apple 1 and when i run this oh so now it has given me one more error here and it's saying materialized view can only reference native tables now because i have used a view here i would have to change that to a native physical table now as you see a new view has been created this is a materialized view and that's why the icon that you see in this is different than a standard view so this is how you create a view within bigquery let me know in the comment section if you have any other doubts regarding views i'll be happy to take that up and cover that in a future video 
In case you are liking my content, then please consider subscribing to the channel and hit that notification bell icon so that you don't miss any video that I upload in future. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.